Hello, my name's uh, Professor Stephen Gentleman and I'm Director of the Ex Experimental Neuroscience MRES at Imperial College and I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit more about the course. The course is open to anybody with an appropriate BSc degree and with an interest in neuroscience research. In particular, we're uh, aiming at people who are thinking of doing a PhD and perhaps going on to a career in uh, neuroscience research in academia or in industry. We're very proud of the breadth and depth of our neuroscience research here at Imperial College and what we offer is hands-on experience of many of the research techniques that are currently being used in the neuroscience research world. The structure of the course is fairly straightforward. We offer you three laboratory placements, uh, each at least 12 weeks in length, uh, where you'll be able to uh, get into the groups of uh, basic scientists or clinicians, all who have uh, world-renowned research projects, and you become part of their research team pursuing your particular project. So what do you get out of this? Well, you get uh, experience in whatever techniques are going on in that lab. You learn how the research is planned and how to put a research project together. You learn how to write grant applications. And you also know how to write up your research when you've completed it. The course offers a wide range of uh, laboratory-based research projects. Uh, they may range all the way from the biochemistry and the genetics of various CNS disorders. Uh, through the neuropathology we have two international tissue banks here at Imperial and we use tissue from these tissue banks to try and understand what's going on in the brain in these diseases. And at the other end we have clinical projects where you may want to image the brains of people with CNS diseases and try and work out uh, how to diagnose and ultimately how to treat these diseases. Each of the projects that you undertake on the course is assessed by you writing up uh, in a short dissertation but also presenting your uh, results in an oral presentation to the academic staff and answering questions about um, the results of your studies. In parallel with that we have a number of short written dissertations that you are doing at the same time as you're doing the, re uh, the research um, and those count for 25% of your overall mark. These uh, require quite a lot of literature searching and trying to understand some of the broader aspects of neuroscience and can involve you going along to many of the academic members of staff for advice. The advantage of studying at Imperial is uh, that we have world leaders um, in research in multiple fields. So your neuroscience project may cross into other areas of science as well. And it's really, you have the freedom to go out there and explore interactions with other research groups throughout the college. 